Uh, what else did you like about the movie before we just go into what we did like? Well, the other problems I had. Come on, Holmes. There you go. Some of the whole. I don't know. I, I guess a lot of the problems I had main with the low budget. You know, the graphics were bad. I didn't. Some of the script writing was a little over cheesy. Oh man, cheesy like, like none other. It, it's just a little too cheesy. And I'm a cheesy guy. Everyone <laughs> who knows me, I'm I'm the cheese meister. He is not kidding. He is the lord of the cheese. But this movie, even you know, it was just like. Why? Yeah, it, it made him have to sit back and say this movie is cheesy. And I and I'm I was Piccolo. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't. But otherwise, you know, budget and acting were pretty much the main downfall. The storyline was a good storyline, considering how it wasn't the original Dragon Ball, as he put it. You know, it, it's a lot different. It's the adaptation. So they did a good job with it. It's insanely different. Yeah, and that I think was the main problem. A lot of people. They didn't like it because oh it's Dragon Ball, it's Dragon Ball Evolution. It's their version. Get over it. It's just stop. Well, really, after I say this, there should be really no more argument. But the creator of Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama, gave this movie two thumbs up. You know, if you haven't heard of this, just look up Akira Toriyama on Dragon Ball, and he even says he's like, I like the movie. I think that it will be a parallel Dragon Ball that everybody can learn to love. So for all of you out there that have an issue with this movie, go to hell. Just just go to hell. You can't have a problem now. The creator liked it, and he's a producer. So we think anyway. We heard, you know Stephen Chow is supposed to be this. Is another thing that I didn't like. Stephen Chow was supposed to be a uh, an executive producer. For those of you that don't know who Stephen Chow is, he is the director of movies like Kung Fu Hustle, Shaolin Soccer. Uh, he, and he stars in those movies too and there's another one some little kids movie that I saw I'm sorry I can't remember the name right now but what I came to find out from the guy that plays Piccolo James Marsters he says that you know Stephen Chow is supposed to be an executive producer he never even saw Stephen Chow on set he never saw him once so we could have got lied to there or maybe Stephen Chow was busy and he was just you know throwing as much money as he could at the movie we don't know but that kind of ticks me off right there I would have loved to have seen Stephen Chow involved in some way um i obviously have the dvd the dvd has a couple of special features you know some of them are kind of stupid like seeing a brian anthony worked up music video so dumb um there's a gag reel that's kind of funny it's pretty humorous there's goku's workout feature let me tell you about the goku's workout featurette you've got two guys on here teaching you how to make a uh a cinema movie fight, you know, being able to fight in the movies, and the, I'm sorry to say this, but like the, the sexual tension between these guys is so ridiculous, I kind of wish you would have seen it, so you could like laugh with me, but it's pretty ridiculous, um, then there's, other than that, there's, there's really good special features, there's, uh, how to make a scene, and it shows you the Chi 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 fight, that was cool to see. They don't use any facial uh, imagery where, what I mean is, they didn't take Jamie Chung's face, who takes Chi Chi, and stick it on another actor's face. No, they filmed, they kept, they filmed it two different times. Jamie Chung had to go out and learn both parts. She had to fight on this side and know all the moves, and then she had to fight on this side and know all the moves. So it's all her. Um, so that was cool to see. I enjoyed watching that. Then there's Life. Fox, Fox Movie Channel presents Life After Film School, and it's an interview with Justin Chatwin. Great interview. I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed hearing what Justin had to say, and you know how he feels about his acting career, and you know how he felt about doing Dragon Ball. He said that Dragon Ball was the best movie that he's worked on. It was the most fun that he had working on a movie, which is cool considering that he's involved. That he was involved with War of the Worlds. <laughs> so, you know, for him to say that he enjoyed Dragon Ball more than War of the Worlds is pretty cool to me. 